everyone, welcome. My name is Kyle for the win, and welcome to another Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video. In this video, I wanted to just have a regular commentary and talk to you guys about um, over one of my best gameplays in Black Ops 4 to the day. We have a pretty good score and streak during this game that I won't spoil for you guys because that's, you know, sucky to spoil something that is pretty cool. And. Yeah, so hopefully you guys have been enjoying Black Ops 4 as well as, you know, have been having a good good year. I have, I've had a pretty good year. Uh, of course, YouTube hasn't been growing super, super fast, but again, I'm still really, really enjoying doing this. It's, it's my hobby. It's kind of my life, honestly, as well, and I'm really, really enjoying it. But my streak setup, as you can tell, is my favorite score streak setup as of uh, all time in this game right now. I know I did a video commentary on this earlier, but this video is different because, as I said, it is one of my it is one of my best game plays in this game at the moment. We're playing Chaos Domination, and Chaos Domination basically is domination, except the score limit is 300 instead of uh, instead of 200. And this domination is actually really, 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 really fun. It's no longer in Black Ops 4, but it is an absolutely amazing, amazing mode to play. I mean, I loved it. The score, the amount of kills you can get, it's, all of it is just incredible. And without, if this wasn't domination, uh, chaos domination, sorry, I don't think this streak would have been possible. So uh, this is kind of, I guess you could say, a nuclear fail, but then again, not really. Uh, but you'll have to see towards the end of the video uh, when, of course, I die. But, of course, these first two halves are very long. Um, so... I'll probably only show you my streak because, as I said, these games are not about 15 to 20 minutes now due to the fact that the score is up by 100. So the score is very, very high, uh, which in turn makes the gameplay very, very long. But uh, hopefully you guys still go to enjoy the gameplay in the background because, as I said, twice already, it is my best gameplay in Black Ops 4 to the date. Uh, now, basically, I guess I could talk about really quickly how I think and how I play when I go uh, try and go for high kill streaks uh, is it, black ops 4 is definitely one of those hard more difficult games to go on streaks with due to the fact that the time to kill is much much higher than it used to be and that definitely 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 has a big factor in to doing well in black ops 4 and getting on nice high kill streaks so basically one of the main things that I do to definitely that has definitely made me a better player as well as given me the opportunity to get better scores is simply my accuracy accuracy is so so important in Call of Duty always has been always will be due to the fact that it's a first-person shooter and if you're not hitting your shots you will not win any gunfights just because that's the reality of shooters and that I mean that's just the reality of shooters if you don't have good accuracy the odds of you doing well are very very small so basically what I do is I use these little things called control freaks this isn't an ad or anything but I've been using contro control freaks for about three years now and they are night and day difference I tell you what now of course night and day is a little bit of an over exaggeration but the reason why I use control freaks is just because they've helped me be such such a, a much more accurate type of a player uh, i can think of one specific instance in uh, infinite warfare when i would not miss shots hardly ever because of these control freaks these control freaks basically add length to your uh, control sticks so you can have more size, precise aiming from longer ranges as well as even close up and they are very very good i can't play without them well, I can, but I do much, much better when I'm using these control freaks. So, I mean, any of these control freaks are super, super cheap. I always have the control freak classic link down below in the description. So, if you guys want to check those out, you can. But there's a ton of variety of them. I mean, I just use the classics because I think they uh, fit the best and I enjoy using them the most. But that's really how I, if you guys ever see my gameplays, how I'm a much more accurate player. Uh, than when I used to play Call of Duty back in the day. So, I mean, it's really, really simple, actually, how uh, much they improve your accuracy. It's crazy. At first, I thought they would kind of mess them up because they actually add length to your sticks. So you have a wider radius. But, they, man, they are very, very good, and they really, really improve my accuracy as a player. So I uh, definitely give them a go if you guys uh, are considering. And I almost fall off the map there. Um, but another thing I used 
but another reason that my accuracy is uh, on point most of the time is well it's just simple guys practice 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 i've been playing call of duty for about six years now i haven't played as much as a lot of the other people who play call of duty uh, have been playing Call of Duty since COD 4, but I have been playing for six years, and uh, I've gotten to Master Prestige in multiple Call of Duty titles. I play the Call of Duty games every year, so it's just simple practice and feeling comfortable with the controller that you're using and everything like that. I did have a scuff, but now I just use the base PlayStation 4 controller uh, because my scuff actually broke, So, and I didn't want to spend $150 to get a new one because the uh, scuff gaming warranty is a little bit iffy, so... Um, Definitely recommend using Control Freaks and practice. I mean, I love the PlayStation controller. I've always been more accurate with it, and it's really that simple. Just use what makes you feel comfortable. And I'm actually on my second set of streaks here. I don't know if I'm on my Ruthless yet, uh, but I might. it might have popped up already. Uh, I'm not positive on that. Uh, another thing that I do to get uh, good gameplay is when I'm playing is focusing. Uh, focusing on just the game and only worrying about the game. So that's the end of the first half. As of right now, I am 31 and 3. Doing pretty well. I'm having a lot of fun in this game so far. I'm like, this could be a pretty dang good gameplay. So, of course, it's through theater mode, so you won't be able to see the final kill cam or anything. Uh, but now we're jumping into the second half here of the domination. And as you guys know, of course, domination is two halves like it always been for the past few years. And 150, of course, was a score limit in chaos domination. Um, so, anyways. Another reason that I can get good gameplays is because of um, the simple map awareness and knowing when people are coming from, anticipating where they will be, and pretty much not memorizing the spawns, but always looking at that mini map. Uh, I know I was talking. Oh, never mind, guys. I I apologize. I do, I do these unscripted, so sometimes I lose lose what I was talking about. And I was actually, I was actually on the part of limiting distractions. So when I play Call of Duty, I mute everybody in the lobby. Every time. There's no if, ands, or buts about that. Every time I play this game, it's muted. Everybody is muted. I don't talk to anybody, and I de and I don't want to hear anybody. So it puts me 100% focused into the game so that I will not you know, get any dumb deaths or not be able to hear somebody and get killed because of that. So definitely, and here I pick up my Relentless Streak, and you guys can go ahead and count my next few kills and see how close I get to the nuclear. So just going to surprise you guys right there. Um, but yeah, so I definitely, definitely, definitely limit distractions when I play. Uh, I Sometimes I have the fan on in my room. That's not really a distraction. I, don't I put my phone to the side. I don't listen to any music. I mute everybody just because that is how I can play the best. Um, because with distractions, you're thinking about other stuff you're not really focusing super hard on the game you're just you're, you're focusing on other things and that definitely hinders my ability to do well like in i mean and it's really really just that simple just you know focus focus that's all you need to do and next which i was going to say is map awareness map awareness is so so important in call of duty and that is also why i use the acoustic sensor now i know the acoustic sensor did get nerfed and in some lobbies, depending on the lobby, it can become a little bit useless. But again, I still use it on almost all of my classes, and it really, really helps me with that map awareness. Because you, if they aren't using dead silence, you can hear their footsteps, and you can see where they're coming from. So really, really effective, and I just really, really love using this, um, uh, being able to uh, know the maps and figuring out the spawns. And that's another big thing. I know... Predicting the spawns in Black Ops 4 is really, really difficult, but if you can predict the spawns, then that is awesome. I think I died right there at a 24 gun streak. I was so annoyed. I was like, I'm going to be going on a nuclear in this game. I'm so excited, but unfortunately, I shot at that sniper guy, and I got overwhelmed, and that was it for me, which really, really sucks. And then pretty much from here, the game play goes a little bit downhill, uh, and that's probably when I'll... Uh, eventually wrap it up but of course I'll show you the final score I just need to get everything I was going to say out of the way um, but other things like knowing the maps as I said already is just super super important if you don't know the maps you are gonna, going to struggle a lot and of course that's again with practice I mean of course this is a beta map gameplay so uh, I already know this map really really well from the beta and it just helps a lot to know that 
to learn this map and to know it in the full game and it just helps to get good gameplays because of that uh, factor. Uh, finally, I guess the reason I get good gameplays is because of having a headset. Now, it's going to be funny, but I only use ear Apple earbuds. I only use Apple earphones as my headset just because of headset hair. If you guys know what headset hair is, it's, it's a funny thing. But, I mean, I just like using my Apple earbuds. I think they work extremely well as a headset. No, they're not you know, Astros, and they're not Turtle Beaches, or anything like that, but they definitely, definitely, definitely work out very, very well, and that is why, and, I mean, that's why I use my Apple earbuds, just because hearing, hearing the game without any outside noise is really, really helpful, and that's also how I'm, how I'm really able to hear footsteps, because without footsteps, being able to hear footsteps, I would have no idea where people are coming from, and that would just make everything more of a challenge. So, uh, But I think I am going to wrap that up there. I just wanted to come on here, talk to you guys about how I get good gameplays, some tips and tricks on on uh, certain gear you can use and pay buy to get good gameplays as well to help, help make you a better player at this game because I want you guys to all be good players as well because I know when if, if you have a lot of fun with the game... It, you can only really have fun with a game if you do well in it, and that is why I have so much fun with Call of Duty, because I've gotten much better over the past few years than I have in the first, like, three or four years of me playing Call of Duty. But uh, leave a like if you guys did enjoy, subscribe if you are new. If you guys like if you guys like commentaries like this, uh, definitely show your support, because I love making commentaries like this. I have a lot of fun doing it, and I wanted to, you know, kind of have more of these commentary-type things uh, over the year over the next year just because I really enjoy having and making these gameplays for you guys but the final score for that gameplay was 79 for 18 I was really really hoping I would get a much better gameplay uh, if I rotated my streaks a lot better and you know had a lot more fun but unfortunately the lobby kinda got a lot more sweaty and a lot more uh, quick scopey and I died a ton towards that last bit of the game but overall that was such a fun gameplay and i really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you leave a like subscribe if you are new make sure you check out all of my other call of duty black ops 4 videos and i will see you guys in another black ops 4 video very very soon